Tonight, a mailbox mystery for Pembroke Pines detectives looking for the people who bashed more than a dozen mailboxes with a bat. CBS 4 Cynthia Demas has more from Pembroke Pines, where neighbors say this is not the first time it happened. This is the neighborhood where it happened, Northwest 93rd Avenue and 93rd Terrace. Check out this mailbox here. It was damaged. This one got knocked off the foundation and zip tied back on. And this one, well, it doesn't exist anymore, making neighbors none too happy. Future position, yeah. oh. Time and time and time again, kids post their mailbox bashing exploits all over the Internet. And taking bat to box is hardly uncommon. It's happened more than once in this Pembroke Pines neighborhood. They're like bowling pins. They're just all in a row. Melvin Short says the mailboxes here are prime for batting practice. He saw kids doing this exact same thing two years ago and tried to chase them down. A kid was leaning out the window on the passenger side, and he was hitting every mailbox as the car went north. He didn't see them this time when 18 mailboxes all lined up in a row were hit, and he's learned that his heavier mailbox and heavier post in place has done him some good. Not the story, though, for Gene Grazillo. But your mailbox is completely gone, huh? Yeah, it's all trashed. The vandals destroyed his mailbox this time. It's terrible. I mean, the kids got off for a prank and had nothing better to do. You see, it looks like a bat. When Giovanni Vega walked out when the sun came up after the damage was done between 1.30 and 2 Sunday morning, he found this. It's just speechless. It's just pointless. Some neighbors do have surveillance video of the crime, but they didn't want to share it for fear there would be retaliation. I, mean, I hope it teaches them a lesson if they do find them. You just have to put up with the vandalism. That's just part of, you know, life in the big city, I guess. So what are the people who did this face? Well, it could be a criminal mischief misdemeanor. Just one would be six months. But if they're all strung back to back, and there are 18 of them, that could be nine years. Or a prosecutor could try to wrap this up and consider it a felony facing up to five years in prison. That's if they get caught for this. In Pembroke Pines, I'm Cynthia Demas, CBS 4 News. Let's hope they can put a stop to that.